Greetings again folks. Here we're going to be looking at the steamship Sir Walter Scott which is a small pleasure cruiser we're flying on Loch Catherine in the Toshacks of Scotland. The little boat was launched in 1900 and was built by William Denny and Brothers who seem to concentrate on building these inshore pleasure cruisers uh, more than anybody and they were very good at it. This one is triple expansion steam. She has two modern uh, Cochrane boilers, uh, We Chieftains, to be serious, We Chieftain 2s, the straight tubes. Um, and obviously a triple expansion engine, side lever uh, bumps and all the rest of it of that period. Now we'll find on this video that there's a lot of concentration of me trying to get the camera ever so more into the engine room sky skylight because this is where I started. I started as a schoolboy, a high schoolboy, from Birkenhead Docks and the River Mersey, starting to learn my trade on exactly these sort of engines on the Mersey ferries and the tugs. The result being that I've always had a love for them and I became a ship's engineer a steam engineer and I say true to his former life. So let's go and have a look at her and I hope that you enjoy it even if perhaps you're not a engine buff or whatever.
And I'd just like to welcome you aboard the Swamp Scott for your cruise here on Loch Catron. And we're very grateful for you please listen to the following safety announcement. In the very unlikely event of an emergency, if we could ask all passengers to please remain calm. <laughs> we do have wind jackets on board for everyone. They are stored and clearly marked lockers on the deck and also in the forward cabin. We also have four ORLs, that's open reversible life rafts. Safety procedures in place if necessary. The fender punch should have a mouse right on the water. You just listen to all the instructions from the crew. But most of all, enjoy your sail. We do have toilets aboard the vessel, they're located downstairs in the back cabin. 
Do I also have a disabled access toilet for baby changing area and the forward cabin? Do I also happen to know we do have a fully licensed fan aboard the vessel? We also sell tea, coffee, hot chocolate. The likes of chill drinks and snacks, cold wine and beer. We do have a couple of special drinks on board that we're rather proud of. We do a lot of catching special, that's a coffee with whiskey or rum. And we also do the Rob Roy special, that's a hot chocolate with brandy or bailey's. Now these drinks are very strong so I'm going to have to limit the amount that each passenger can purchase on board. Can I have a minimum of 10 each? <laughs> now a quick introduction to the crew. Working in the bar we've got Lucas and Big Jordan. Up on the bridge is myself Stephen and Braddock. And down in the engine room we've got £250. Almost half this cost was his transportation fee to get the vessel here to Lock Catron. It's Walter Scott and a sea tour of London back to Arden. And on a return was dismantled into many sections and taken up the river leading to Lock Lomond. Once all the sections were at Lock Lomond, they were transferred out to barges and sailed up Lock Lomond to the Northern Line to a wee place called Amber Slade on Lock Lomond side. The sections were then all transferred onto horses and carts and drive across the hillside five miles to Stroke Clacker to the western end of Port Catron. The sections were then all reassembled and riveted back together and launched onto the lock in October 1899. The ship ended of service in the year 1900. The Samantha Scott is 111 feet long. 19 feet wide, and it weighs in at 115 tons. The ship is still using its original Matthew Paul to go to back in steam engine to this day, which is now 120 years old. The steam to power the engine is produced by two coffee, three cheaper boilers running in oil. For 110 years this morning, when worked, she was licensed to carry over 500 passengers. But due to the new modern safety regulations, 
nations. The maximum amount they carry now is 235. Now, unfortunately, folks, we are coming towards the end of our sailing gear on what catching for you this afternoon. I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you on behalf of the Steamships of Walter Scott Trust Limited and the crew. We do hope you have enjoyed your sail out on what catching with us on the Walter Scott, despite the weather, and hopefully we'll see you sometime again in the future. If you are on holiday in Scotland, we do hope you have a lovely time and hope the weather does improve. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.